Well, it means everything to me to be able to enable these innovators because that's what I was my whole life. I was both a scientist and an innovator, and now that I get to this stage of my career, to be able to nurture that and watch it grow in others is very exciting. The overall goal for the Tech to Market team is to ensure that when a team is successful scientifically, that the research and the work towards the commercialization continues. In the case of Alvia, we had a very super smart scientist who was hungry to move something out of his lab and into the market. So what we saw was an incredible intellectual horsepower just take, being a sponge, understanding what it is to, that he needed to do and doing it every step of the way. Alveo Energy is a battery technology startup company that is developing a new battery based around um, common and expensive materials. Our electrodes are based on Prussian blue, which is a consumer product pigment found in, in paint, blue jeans, crayons, um, all sorts of things. Prussian blues are trivially easy to make. You filter it, dry it, and you're ready to go into the same industry standard battery manufacturing processes that are already in use at large scales. The difference between our battery and everybody else's is the materials we have developed do not degrade as you charge and discharge the battery. What our batteries offer is order of magnitude longer cycle life, higher power, and much lower cost than existing technologies. We've been testing them for months with no observation of any degradation. We are presently designing uh, first product battery packs that we hope to have in demo testing with customers in less than two years. Our customers will include and power producers and utilities actually operating and managing large-scale solar and wind, as well as you know, individuals and businesses that are electricity customers, and they produce solar on their rooftops. If we're successful with this battery technology, what you can imagine is a world where you know, solar and wind and other renewable energy sources can be deployed much more widely. In the case of Alveo, we have a young scientist who has a scientific hypothesis that he wants to test in the market. In the case of indoor reality, we have a very experienced academic who was inspired by a question or a problem statement that was put forward by RPE. The motto of our company is indoor reality, mapping buildings one step at a time. So imagine a world where the blueprint and the 3D model of every building in the universe has is, is already been documented. We have built a wearable um, acquisition systems that a human operator can either hold in their hands or wear as a backpack, walk inside buildings, collect energy relevant information that enables extremely fast energy audits of buildings. We go in and out of rooms and uh, buildings and by the time we're done, We've recovered the complete 3D geometry of the building. That 3D geometry is one of the essential elements that's needed for energy modeling and simulation. So while you're walking around, there's a little computer on the backpack that logs in and collects all the data from the sensors, from the laser scanners, from the visible light cameras, infrared cameras, inertial measurement units, everything. Barometers, thermometers, etc. Once you've collected the data, the rest of the processing is automated on, on the computer. So you can do the same kind of energy audit that would have taken a week, perhaps in an hour or so. Working with the people is very important to me. And so you work with people and you coach them over a period of time, and then when you see the light bulb go on and they actually get it, that's a very happy and rewarding moment. What motivates me is the opportunity to work with brilliant people as fast as we can to develop new things. And the startup environments with support for Marpa E to do a new energy technology is really a unique opportunity uh, to get to experience that. The ARPA-E personnel were extremely helpful in getting us to focus as to how are we going to transition things from university to a real company. What are the cost issues, what are the manufacturing issues, who's going to buy it, kind of the, the, the usual things that us as technical people tend to ignore or not be so interested in. It's really a very magical thing to actually see something come from a basic idea and go into the market. That's what's fun about this job.